Stanford University. We're having a wet winter in California, particularly in Northern California. For example, the watershed that is upstream of the Oroville Dam. Year to date, that part of the Northern Sierra has had 230% of the normal precipitation. It's already exceeded what normally happens for the whole year. So here in California, we get the majority of our precipitation from atmospheric rivers. They're plumes of moisture, so they transport water from the subtropics uh, to the west coast of the United States. We've had a number of atmospheric rivers in succession, filling up dams, breaching spillways, breaching levees, uh, causing flooding. We've had five years of intense drought, low precipitation coinciding with high temperature, followed by this punctuation with very wet conditions causing a lot of runoff. This is exactly what was predicted by climate scientists three decades ago, and this is really the new normal. We're in a different climate. So we have a water system, both in terms of the infrastructure and the legal rights and the water management, that was all designed and built for a climate that existed half a century or a century ago. The Oroville Dam, the flooding in San Jose, the other challenges we're seeing around the state really highlight the risks that are intensifying as climate changes. The good news is there are a lot of opportunities for decisions and investments that will help us right now make Americans more safe and more secure and simultaneously prepare us for the future. It's clear that our infrastructure needs an update. We have opportunities to increase supply. In particular, groundwater storage is a very cost-effective way to increase water supply. We have opportunities to capture more stormwater in urban areas save more of it, store it, and clean it. So we have a lot of opportunities to be prepared for the risks that are intensifying as climate changes. For more, please visit us at stanford.edu.